Welcome to Design Thinking for Leading and Learning. Design thinking is a systematic approach to solving complex problems, an approach that emphasizes innovation through iteration and learning through doing. Design thinking includes specific skills, processes, and mindsets that are central to the research and development work that happens every day here at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And design thinking can be a powerful toolkit for improving teaching and learning in schools. My name is Justin Reich, and I'm the executive director of the Teaching Systems Lab here at MIT. The Teaching Systems Lab investigates the complex, technology-rich classrooms of the future and the systems that we need to develop for educators to thrive in those settings. We build games, simulations, and online learning experiences for educators. And in all of our projects, design thinking is central to our work. When my colleagues and I do our research and development, we start by listening closely to practicing educators to understand their challenges. And then we rapidly develop prototypes of solutions to those challenges. We test those prototypes with our colleagues and with educators, and after each test, we refine our prototypes and improve them. Through these iterative cycles of prototyping, testing, reflecting, and evaluating, we improve and expand the learning experiences that we create for our educators. Design thinking is the framework for how we conduct our research. As we think about the future of schooling and learning, one of our central concerns is how can we prepare students for their future? In the decades ahead, automation is going to replace many of the jobs that we take for granted today. Trucks will drive themselves to deliver goods, factories will house robots that make our products, and the discovery work in law firms will be done by software rather than associates. But there are two areas where computers are often less effective compared to the work that can be done by thoughtful people. The first of those areas is in communication. Humans are much better than computers at understanding people, persuading people, and helping people identify their needs and hopes. And the second of those areas is what we might call ill-structured problem solving. Computers are great at solving problems that are well-defined and characterized by routines, where we know in advance what the solution should look like and what inputs are needed to solve the problem. But when we aren't exactly sure what the problem is, when we need to dream up a new solution, when it's not clear what will be needed to address a challenge, humans are far better than computers. If we want young people to thrive in their future, we need to help them become great communicators, and we need to help them learn to solve ill-structured problems. With that challenge in mind, there are two overarching framing questions for this course. First, how do we prepare K-12 students to be as successful as possible in a future that requires creativity, problem solving, and communication skills? And second, how do we enable passionate school leaders to re-envision the role of schools in preparing kids for their future? In this course, we'll focus on how to adopt design thinking as a toolkit for addressing these questions. We'll use design thinking as a pedagogical framework that we can use in our classes with our students, but we'll also investigate design thinking as a set of strategies that school leaders can use with their colleagues to improve the systems in their own schools. This course has three units. In unit one, we'll explore how faculty and researchers here at MIT use design thinking in their own research and development across multiple departments. Design thinking isn't a buzzword that people made up to give STEM teachers something new to try. It's how we build the future here at MIT. With guidance and tips from MIT experts, you'll undertake a hands-on design challenge to get you started in the process. Unit two will focus on how a variety of schools are using design thinking with their K-12 students. You'll see examples of how real practitioners expose students to the process and skills, and you'll be encouraged to try some elements of design thinking with students in your own community. In unit three, we'll explore how design thinking can be used to address broader systemic level challenges within education. You'll hear about how schools and organizations are empathizing, prototyping, testing, and iterating to drive real meaningful change. And you'll take on your own change effort informed by design thinking. We start this course with the belief that all of us are designers. We solve all kinds of problems every day. Some problems are personal and simple. How should I get to work today? You make decisions about whether or not to take public transportation, if you have time to stop by the coffee shop, or how you can avoid traffic. Other problems are more broad and complex. How will I get students to learn and care about protecting the environment? Design thinking is a flexible and powerful approach to address these diverse kinds of challenges. It's a systematic approach to critical thinking. We hope you leave this course equipped with a design-driven mindset, specific skills that you can apply right away, and the confidence to try these approaches with your students and colleagues. You won't get it right the first time, and that's to be expected. But if you join us on this journey, You'll leave empowered with a new set of tools for solving ill-structured problems, for preparing students for their future, and for helping the schools of today become the schools of tomorrow. Let's get started.